Far beneath the storm-lashed waters off Russia's far east lies one of the most dangerous and least understood geological features on Earth, the Kuril Kamchatka Trench. Stretching thousands of kilometers along the Pacific seafloor, this vast subduction zone marks the collision of two colossal tectonic plates and holds the potential to unleash a disaster of staggering proportions. In 1952, it triggered a magnitude 9.0 earthquake and a tsunami that claimed over 2,300 lives within minutes. Now, decades later, signs are mounting that history may be poised to repeat itself. In 2025 alone, this volatile region has already been shaken by seven earthquakes exceeding magnitude 7, including a powerful magnitude 7.4 event in July that prompted tsunami warnings across the Pacific. Scientists fear a much larger rupture could be imminent, one capable of generating ocean-wide tsunamis and devastating coastal cities along Russia's Pacific Rim. Yet beyond the region, few are even aware of this trench's existence. Today, let's delve into the Kuril Kamchatka Trench, its historical and recent seismic activity, the looming threat of a future megaquake, and the potentially devastating impact such a disaster could have. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The Kuril Kamchatka Trench lies at the far eastern edge of Russia, stretching roughly 2,000 kilometers from the southern tip of the Kamchatka Peninsula down past the Kuril Islands toward Hokkaido, Japan. It marks the boundary where the Pacific Plate is being thrust beneath the Okhotsk Plate, a process known as subduction. The Pacific Plate moves northwestward at a rate of approximately 8 to 9 centimeters per year, pushing against the Eurasian Tectonic Plate and generating immense geological stress. This constant grinding between plates results in the buildup of energy along the fault line, which is eventually released in the form of earthquakes. Because the trench is a subduction zone, where one plate dives beneath another, it is also a prime location for tsunami-genic megathrust earthquakes. These are the same types of seismic events that caused the catastrophic Indian Ocean tsunami in 2004 and the Tohoku disaster in Japan in 2011. Geologically, the trench is among the deepest in the world, reaching depths of nearly 9,600 meters. Its floor is lined with layers of sediments scraped off the descending Pacific Plate, and its margins are dotted with underwater volcanoes, seismic scars, and deformation zones. The region is not only seismically active, but volcanically as well, with numerous active volcanoes along the Kamchatka Peninsula, each closely tied to the subduction dynamics of the trench. The Kuril Kamchatka Trench has a long and destructive history of seismic activity. One of the most infamous events occurred on November 4, 1952, when a massive magnitude 9.0 earthquake struck just off the coast of Kamchatka. The tremor generated a Pacific-wide tsunami that devastated the town of Severokurilsk, killing over 2,300 people. The waves also reached as far as Hawaii, Chile, and New Zealand showcasing the trench's ability to trigger far-reaching destruction. Another major event occurred in 2006, when a magnitude 8.3 earthquake rocked the central Kuril Islands. Although this quake generated a tsunami, its effects were comparatively limited due to the sparsely populated nature of the region and improved early warning systems. Nevertheless, the event served as a stark reminder of the trench's ongoing activity. There have also been numerous other large-scale earthquakes throughout the 20th century. Each of these events, while not as devastating as the 1952 quake, has contributed to a growing awareness of the trench's seismic volatility. The pattern of activity suggests that the Kuril Kamchatka system is far from dormant and that large portions of the fault remain capable of generating catastrophic events. The year 2025 has brought a notable surge in seismic activity along the Kuril Kamchatka Trench, alarming seismologists and prompting renewed concerns about a potential megaquake. By mid July, at least seven earthquakes exceeding magnitude 7.0 had occurred in the region. These include a powerful magnitude 7.4 event on July 20th, 
the earthquake struck at a depth of around 20 kilometers and was preceded by a foreshock measuring 6.7 in magnitude. Over the next 24 hours, the area experienced a swarm of at least 30 aftershocks, several of which also exceeded magnitude 6.0. The July 20th quake triggered tsunami warnings across the Pacific, including in Russia, Japan, Alaska, and even as far as Hawaii and American Samoa. Though no destructive waves materialized, the widespread issuance of alerts and precautionary evacuations highlighted the immense risk posed by the trench. In Kamchatka, coastal communities were put on high alert, and emergency response teams were mobilized to monitor the situation. What's particularly concerning to scientists is that the pattern of earthquakes seen in 2025 may indicate stress transfer along the fault system. In seismically active regions, a large earthquake in one segment of a subduction zone can increase stress in adjacent locked segments, making them more likely to rupture. This phenomenon was seen in the 2011 Tohoku earthquake, which was preceded by years of smaller tremors that crept northward along the Japan Trench. The recent spike in activity along the Kuril-Kamchatka Trench may be a similar harbinger. Given the geological structure of the Kuril-Kamchatka Trench and the current seismic pattern, many experts believe the region is overdue for another massive earthquake, possibly in the magnitude 8.5 to 9.2 range. Such a megaquake could be triggered if a major segment of the fault, currently believed to be locked, suddenly ruptures. The immense pressure that has built up over decades would be released in a matter of seconds, producing violent ground shaking and generating a potentially catastrophic tsunami. The immediate impact on Russia's Far East could be devastating. The Kamchatka Peninsula is home to over 300,000 people, many of whom live in coastal towns. A tsunami triggered by a megathrust earthquake could produce waves more than 10 to 20 meters high, inundating entire neighborhoods and destroying infrastructure. Coastal erosion, fires, and hazardous material spills would exacerbate the chaos. In addition to tsunami risk, the ground shaking itself would cause widespread destruction. Many buildings in Kamchatka, especially older Soviet-era structures, are not built to modern seismic standards. Landslides in the region's mountainous terrain could bury roads and villages, cutting off access for emergency responders. Critical infrastructure, bridges, airfields, power stations, would be severely damaged or destroyed. The broader Pacific Rim would not be spared. A tsunami from the Kuril-Kamchatka Trench could reach Hawaii in about seven hours, Alaska in three hours, and California in less than 12. Japan, lying just south of the trench, could experience devastating effects similar to the Tohoku disaster. Even coastal regions in Chile, New Zealand, and the Philippines could face serious threats depending on the earthquake's size and epicenter. The environmental impact could also be significant. Earthquakes of this scale have the potential to trigger volcanic eruptions by destabilizing nearby magma chambers. Kamchatka is home to several active volcanoes. An eruption in the aftermath of a major quake could pose serious risks to nearby populations through ashfall and other volcanic hazards. Recognizing the immense threat posed by the Kuril-Kamchatka Trench, Russian authorities and international partners have ramped up monitoring and preparedness efforts. The Russian Tsunami Warning Center in Vladivostok oversees real-time seismic and oceanographic data, while local observatories operate networks of ground sensors and GPS stations to detect abnormal activity. Coastal communities in Kamchatka conduct regular evacuation drills and maintain clear signage, but experts warn that tsunami response times can be critically short, sometimes just 15 to 30 minutes. On the research front, scientists from Russia, Japan, and the US have collaborated on projects including ocean bottom seismometers, crustal deformation analysis, and tsunami simulation modeling. Yet, despite progress, Predicting the exact timing and location of a megaquake remains beyond current scientific capability. A major challenge is the trench's deep offshore location, 
which makes comprehensive instrumentation difficult. This limits the detection of subtle seismic phenomena, like foreshocks, and slow-slip events that could serve as early warning signs. To enhance resilience, experts call for greater investment in underwater monitoring, satellite-based geodesy, and community education. Critical tools in the race to prepare for a disaster that may already be on the horizon. As seismic activity continues to increase along the Kuril-Kamchatka Trench, the question is not whether another megaquake will occur, but when. The geological processes driving subduction are unrelenting, and the evidence suggests that a significant segment of the fault is approaching a critical tipping point. The recent wave of magnitude 7-plus earthquakes in 2025 could be part of a larger foreshock sequence, a prelude to a rupture that would rival or exceed the devastation of 1952. While Russia has made important strides in monitoring and emergency preparedness, challenges remain. The remoteness of the region, aging infrastructure, and the inherent unpredictability of seismic events all contribute to a sense of vulnerability. Nonetheless, each new tremor offers a chance to refine models, improve warning systems, and raise public awareness. As the Kuril-Kamchatka Trench continues to rumble beneath the Pacific, the question remains, will we be ready when this sleeping giant finally awakens?